Boom shakalaka. from me. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a basic cheeseburger. It's very basic, very easy, and very delicious. And it is also the right way in making cheeseburgers. You don't want to mix onions with it. You don't want to mix whatever in it because that's a meatloaf. That's not a burger. Burger should be basic. You should taste the meat properly. And we're going to do that today. We're going to have a little bit of condiments with it just to, you know, pimp it out a little bit. But the main part is beef and cheese and awesome bread. Let's get to it. Bye. Oh, Alright guys, so here are the basic ingredients you need to make this awesome cheeseburger. Of course you need fresh ground beef right here. We got New Zealand fresh ground beef. You want it to be chilled, not frozen, nor hot. This is the perfect temperature right off the fridge. Very, very awesome temperature. Second, we'd need of course spices. You can use whatever spices you need, but the main ones are salt and pepper. Right here we got my own blend. However, I'm not gonna show you a few of the ingredients that I don't have here today that make for my special recipe, because that's kind of a secret. So I'm gonna show you what you guys need to make an awesome recipe, of course. You need some garlic salt. You can use regular salt, but I love garlic, so I'm going with garlic salt. Ground black pepper. Garlic powder, once again, I really love garlic. You got Cajun, you can use it. You don't have to, but I prefer to use it. You got some chili powder, because I like it a little bit of spicy. And of course, some roast rub. Now, you don't need to put roast rub, but I like the flavor that comes out with it. And you also need some Worcester... <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce uh, comes really good with ground beef. It gives it a really nice flavor. You don't want to mix a lot of it. But you want to mix a little bit of it within the meat. It's going to taste awesome. It's going to have that perfect balance in the meat. And of course, there is no cheeseburger without some cheddar cheese. So we got some char sharp cheddar right here that we're gonna put on top of the burger. It's gonna be amazing, it's gonna melt out. I'm gonna show you a perfect way to melt it, which is gonna be awesome. And last but not least, one of the condiments, we got some pepperoni, you can use bacon, but we didn't get our hands on bacon today. So we got some pepperoni, we're gonna grow them real quick, get them real crispy and add it to the burger. So guys, let's get to it, let's see what's going on, I. By the way guys, I forgot that with the ingredients, we of course got bread because we need it. Anyway, step number one, get all your seasonings, all the different seasonings, mix them together to make your spice blend. Basically all you need to do is to put them inside a bowl, mix them together so and then you can sprinkle them and put them on top of the burger. So let's start doing that, right? Mix it with my own hands and get it all well mixed. Get rid of any lumps if there are any, because usually garlic powder has a lot of lumps with it. You just want to squish them. You know, blend it all together good. It smells fantastic to be honest, guys. It smells really good. I'm joking, it smells like no, I'm kidding, it doesn't smell like shit. It just smells really good. You want proof? Uh, yo, idiot! Get over here. Mm, yeah. Step number two, you want to make some balls with your uh, ground beef. But before we do that, we're gonna take some Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna sprinkle it a little bit over the beef to get this flavor inside the beef. So here's what we're gonna do. Take your ground beef, not so much, just a little bit. You don't want it to be wet or soggy. Just want the flavor to be in there. This kinda seems about right. This kinda seems about right. This much is more than enough, maybe a little bit more. But that is it for now. And we're gonna go ahead right now, make the balls, squish them into patties and continue to the next step. Let's do some balls, guys. All right, you might want to take this much. I don't know how much it is, to be honest, like measurements form. But how I like to measure it is just a ball in your fist. Put it in your hand, shape it into a ball. All right, we might want to make it a little bit bigger right now. So maybe a few chunks of patty, beef right here. Form it into a ball, do not overwork it, do not over squish it. Do not add salt or any seasonings on it yet. This is what you want to do. Don't over squish it. You don't want to work it because that drains out the burger. You want it to be as loose as it is. Place it into the center of your plate. Get your 
get your hand and what pow that is basically how you form a patty at the beginning why do you smash it because that way you won't overwork it you're going to give it the right shape the right form you want it to be natural as you guys can see you guys can still see how loose it is all the gaps and all that you might want to loop up your plate a little bit so it doesn't stick but for now, this is our patty. It looks beautiful, it looks fresh, and it looks fantastic. Now, right before you put on the pan, you want the pan to be on medium to high heat. Uh, you don't want it to be over hot so you don't burn it. The first thing you want to do is you want to take the seasonings, put it on top, then flip it, and put it on the upper side of the patty. So let's do that right now. We got a three finger full of uh, seasonings. Put them. Be generous with it, put them on top of the uh, patty, flip it, you might want it to be hotter, and then take a little bit more and put it on top once again. And now you want it to cook even on both sides, you only flip it once, you don't flip it any more than that, only once, and don't squeeze on it while it's cooking because that's going to make all the juice run out of it. Now all we have to do is wait! <laughs> Alright guys, so here's a trick. We only flip it once. As soon as we flip it, we take a handful of cheddar cheese, we ball it on top, and we're gonna let it melt as the other side of the burger cooks. That way it's gonna cook evenly and the cheese is gonna be perfectly melted. And once the cheese is melting, we're gonna cook, we're gonna cook a few pepperonis, just because why not? It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be crispy. So let's get to it, let's see what's gonna happen. Alright, cool. Alright guys, right now we're gonna flip it. Let's just check if it's Time to flip, yes it is time to flip it. We're gonna flip it, ball some cheese on it, and then after we ball some cheese, we're gonna toast some buns and grill some pepperonis. Boom. Look at that, we got the nice caramelization on top. That is what we want. It is juicy. As you can see, the pan isn't being wet. That means that all the juices are being stuffed and stuck inside the patty. That is a good sign. Let's move it to the side real quick. We got a ball of cheese, put it on top perfectly. We want all of that cheese to melt. I burnt my hand. We're gonna take some pepperonis. We're gonna go release these bad boys up. All right, right now we're gonna place the pepperonis right on top of the burger. Just real quick, move it to the side. We don't want it to burn now, but real quick we're gonna just toast the buns really fast just to get a little bit of toast on them. And then I'm gonna show you an amazing trick to melt the cheese on the burger. That is a nice toast on the sides of the bun. We're gonna take them out so we can place them. Right now guys, here's the trick. You wanna take a little bit of water and pour it on the pan and cover the pan real quick. So just this much would do and cover the pan. Cover the pan. Now what, what this is gonna do is that it's gonna let all the steam go into the burger, it's gonna cook it from inside, and it's gonna also melt the cheese. As you guys can see, none of the steam is escaping, it's all going inside. It's gonna melt the cheese really quick, and it's gonna be an amazing, lovely burger. Ta-da! As you guys can see, the cheese is awesomely perfectly melted. We're gonna take the plate, we're gonna plate this bad boy up, Check it out guys, here you have an awesome delicious burger with some grilled pepperonis, awesome beef and melted cheddar cheese. Now that we've plated, we're going to cut it in half, we're going to see what's inside and we're going to see our good friend KTK dig into this awesome baby bad boy. Three. Would you look at that? All right, boy, pick one and taste it. Honest opinion, no left and right. Tastes like shit, let YouTube know. You know, it's telling the truth. I'd rather drink that shit you just drank earlier. <laughs> no, no, no. No joke, no joke. Uh, in all honesty... This is one of the best burgers I ever ate. I swear to God. 
This tastes like a stripper's pussy right there. Good job. Thanks, man. Amazing uh, cooker right there. One of the best chefs. Enjoy your cheeseburger, man. One of the best burgers I've ever ate. I'm not saying this because I'm his friend. I'm saying this because I'm an honest person. That's a fact. By the way, guys, check out D-Dust Gaming. This guy has a channel there. They don't eat, but they play video games. Check him out. Yeah, you better. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it really helpful. Unlike this recipe. If you did, give it a like. Smash the shit. What the f am I saying? Do whatever you have to do. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, alright? Peace!